assalamu alaikum students how are you class 5 today we do written work of unit 2 so take out your science copies and open it dear student first we are draw margin line on one side of your science copy then write date and day then write unit 2 and the topic name is reproduction in living things dear student as you know we start our work from contents Question number one: Write words meanings. Question number two: Dictation words. Question number three: Fill in the blanks. Question number four: Label and draw the parts of the flower. Question number five: Question number four: Question answer. Dear student, now write exercise. words meanings so gila reproduction padawar manufacture banana rip paka hua emerge nikalna dear student now we do question number 2 dictation words first reproduction that that pole hatches cot leadens pollination Dear student today we do question number 3 of unit 2 class 5 take out your science copies and open it dear students first for all draw margin line on one side of your copies then write date and day we start from question number 3 which is fill in the blanks the dash is the part of a plant which makes seed and fruit The ovary is the part of a plant which makes seed and fruit. The parts of a flower are arranged in the form of rings called dash. The parts of a flower are arranged in the form of rings called whorls. The sweet smell, color, or dash of flowers attract insects. The sweet smell, color, and nectar of flowers attract insects. A thin dash tube grows from a pollen grain when it lands on the stigma. A thin pollen tube grows from a pollen grain when it lands to on the stigma. After pollen fertilization, the dash grows into a seed. After fertilization, the ovule grows into a seed. The wall of the ovary makes the dash fruit. the wall of the ovary makes the fruit a seed has a hard outer coat called the dash a seed has a hard outer coat called the testa the seed leaves are called cotyledons the seed leaves are called cotyledons the process by which a seed begins to grow is called dash The process by which a seed begins to grow is called germination. Dear student, now we do question number 4. Label the parts of the flower and draw it. Dear student, first for all, you draw flower and then label its parts. 